How do we reset our mind? So one method that, that I learned, and it really works, I learned it by the, from this guy, <laughs> not physically, but by reading his book. <laughs> He's David G, like Gandhi G, right? You know what G stands for? I, do you know the meaning of G? Beloved. I was really impressed. So Gandhi G, beloved Gandhi. Gandhi. Uh, David G, beloved David. So he actually teaches meditation. And what he says is most people don't want to do meditation. It's too difficult. It takes too long, blah, blah, blah. So he came up with a method called 16 seconds of bliss. We are in 16 seconds. You can reset your mind. All it takes is 16 seconds for one cycle. And I do it at traffic lights because sometimes driving stresses me out. When I stop at a traffic light and I can see the countdown, it is one and a half minutes, 90 seconds or whatever. I can easily do four cycles. It's only one minute and four seconds. 16 seconds. What, is, what we do is a method called box breathing. So we breathe in for four, hold for four, out for four, hold for four. That's a box. In for four, hold for four seconds, exhale for four, hold for four. Box breathing. 16 seconds of bliss. Four into four, 16. But it has to be diaphragmatic breathing. Breathing from your belly. So this is wrong. That's shoulders. This is right. So that's why I keep my belly so I can show you. <laughs> He's breathing. So if you go and look at a baby breathing. What's a baby breathing? What do you see going up and down? The tummy. Babies know the correct way of breathing. When we get older, we forget. <laughs> so let's do this together. Imagine you are drinking a milkshake with a straw. So you keep the straw in your mouth and go. If you do that, you'll feel your belly expand. Can you keep your hand or one hand on your tummy? Can you sit straight in your chair, sit up straight so your back is straight? OK? Let's first make sure we are doing a proper diaphragmatic breath. So keep your hand, uh, one hand on your belly and go. And do you feel your tummy expanding? Not chest, only your belly should expand. So try again, release. Escape in here, go. So we release. Now take a breath again, let's see. Did you feel your, did you feel your tummy expanding? If so, then that's a diaph diaphragmatic breath and you're doing it right. <coughs> so 16 seconds of bliss, what we do is, you focus on where your breath is. Now, what, what happens when you focus on your breath? Let's say earlier you were stressed out, customers screamed at you, boss is upset, target get not got. So you're thinking of that. How many things can you consciously think of at one time? One. You can only think of one thing consciously at a time. Subconscious mind, you can think of a billion things or a million things. Consciously only one. So if I'm thinking of the thing that's worrying me, I'm thinking of that. Now, instead of that, I'm thinking of my breath, which means I'm disconnecting from the problem I'm having. I'm interrupting the pattern. Disconnect. It's like unplug the computer, plug again. <laughs> so here what I'm trying to do is unplug this and then plug it back. So focus on your breath. So when you're breathing in for, for four, your breath is coming in, going to your belly. Then you focus on your belly, you're holding it there. Now out for four. And then hold for four when the breath, while the breath goes further away. Then in again, one, two, three, four. Hold it there, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. Hold. So you're focused on the breath. Let's do two cycles together. Close your eyes, I'll count for you. So breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. And there we have it. We just did two cycles. It just took 32 seconds. How many of you feel a little more relaxed? Anyone? You feel good? Yeah? Okay, awesome. Uh, it helps me as well. Uh, and it has helped so many people. 16 seconds of bliss. Remember, box breathing, 16 seconds. 
You can do this whenever, right? Can't you do this at your cubicle? At your seat? Just close your eyes. Two minutes, breathe. Does it matter whether you're in Samanture or uh, Monaragal or Ampara or Colombo or wherever? You can do it. Can you do it in a plane? Yes. In a train? Yes. In a car? Yes. <laughs> right? Sounds like green eggs and ham. <laughs> right. Okay, can you do this very quickly? Two minutes. Write down the situations that normally stress you out and what are the situations after you should reset yourself. So let's do this practically. So when these things happen, it will trigger your mind, ah, I need to reset. And then make that effort, consciously go to a site somewhere and, or even at your desk, close your eyes, breathe. So, you can actually help your team to manage their stress as well. Can we teach them to do this 16 seconds? Can you teach them? It won't take long, right? Help them. They'll bless you for it. <laughs> See, what I do with my choirs now, because I know when they come for practice, they're coming with all sorts of uh, mud and garbage in their minds, and I need them to be focused. So lots of times, the first few minutes, I just say, okay, just stay quiet, breathe, and just collect your thoughts. Leave all your baggage out and focus. So you could do that before a morning meeting. Because people are coming about all sorts of worries about their children, their pet, their husband, their wife, their something, their mother-in-law, various things. But now you want them to focus on what you're trying to tell them, what's the target? Would it hurt for the whole team to spend a minute just breathing in silence? After that, everyone is relaxed, which is cortisol has gone away, which means learning is going to be better. Initially, people think you're nuts, but once they see the, the result and they think it's, it's helping them, they'll be like, wow, boss, let's do it together. One minute, that's all.